again, we have, uh, hopefully this will get in the newspaper, we have uh, uh, miscommunication with people just uh, lying. There's no other word except for lying about the, what the bar does uh, in regard to uh, police work. Uh, so I'd like to explain to council uh, exactly what took place if I could have a couple minutes here. It was, it was an undercover covert operation as, as everybody knows now. And in those types of operations, while it seems like nothing is being done, there's a, a, a large amount of work being done. Uh, this is the second one that we've had in uh, the last 14 months. Uh, when we did the first one for the Third Street group, it was extremely effective. Uh, I could uh, walk you in the back right now and show you boxes and boxes of paperwork that have uh, that are in place for they're just for the indictments, just for the federal indictments that took place. Actually, when the Third Street uh, job went down, Darby is uh, was uh, a model because of how we took back the streets and had the barbecue at the end of that day. Uh, and our, our shootings in that area, despite what any other source may say, is, an, is a lie that they're so bad. Our, our shootings are down 90% in that area. Uh, are we ever not going to have crime? No. But we're very fortunate when federal agencies and state agencies come in. Uh, in last week's raid, we, were, we arrested 34 people. But overall, in the last 13 months, we've arrested over 100 people. Uh, we passed a mutual aid agreement tonight. On the same day, the Delaware County Sheriff's Department came in and served over 100 warrants, fugitive warrants, for people that are wanted for various other crimes, which took place on that day. There were state police in town. There were CID, Narcotic Strike Force police in town. Uh, we had district attorneys in town. Now, it's ludicrous to say that this is done for a specific reason in a, in a specific month. We have no, no control whatsoever of how the, the, we have control over the enforcement process, but we do not have control over the prosecution part. When indictments are going to be presented or arrest warrants come down, and I don't care what anybody, anybody can say what they want to our uh, inexperienced and don't know what they're talking about, or basically just liars. I mean, basically. But all, all, all that is is to make a negative thing and to scare the people of this town. That, that's all that's about. But those, those men did a fine job. The people of the town can walk a little bit safer because we did that. And while, every, while certain people believe that nothing was going on, well, something was going on and is still going on, and this will happen again. <coughs> but if you if you want to if you want to be personal about it and worry about your own personal gains, then you can say these lies, these false truths, and try and destroy things in the town and people. But in fact, they're out and out mistruths, lies uh, that are not true. The town absolutely uh, has fewer drug problems. We're, we're not gone. I'm not going to tell anybody that they're gone. Right? But there are fewer. And there was no specific day. In fact, the date of that raid was changed four different times because of no, nothing more than legal red tape. Right? But when you have a personal agenda, you want to make everything look bad. This was a good thing. And we were very fortunate to assume, or we were very fortunate to get the amount of help Right. Where does a little town like Darby right, muster over 100 law enforcement officers? Right. 14 different municipalities in this county gave us 30 uniformed officers for that morning right, at no charge to the fire of Darby. None. So we, could, so we could address our problem. And because we as this others. Right. So you know, if you want to go online, go online. People aren't going to believe your lies and your mistruths and your misrepresentations. Right? And will there be another one? Yeah. And can I tell you when it will be? No. No. And, and even if I knew when it would be, I wouldn't tell you because it's not a covert operation. But don't think that nothing's going on just because some egomaniac wants to tell you that it's not going on. It is.
So I hope that they put that in the newspaper because that's what happened. And we should be very proud of our men in this department for the amount of work that they put into this. And one final thing is, if, if you just read the newspaper the preceding two weeks, of what was going on in Delaware County. Uh, Bedari had a major raid with a major cleanup. Uh, the bar had a major raid with a major cleanup. The Sheriff's Department and, and the county was serving a number of fugitive warrants at that time. Uh, what were, what were, should we believe? Should we believe the little Darty bar got all the people to do that because a certain day was coming? It's kind of far-fetched. Uh, that's, uh, well, not far-fetched, it's just an out that lot. That's that's the truth. We hope that uh, the bar would uh, would print it. Thank you. Thank you. Good job.